the trauma. I had no joke. I had a joke, but then I lost it. So there's no joke now. Hi, everyone. How we doing today? Oh, I don't even know what day it is. Oh, it's Monday. It's Memorial Day weekend. Time means nothing right now, but happy Memorial Day weekend, everybody. Uh, it's all y'all Americans, I guess. Where is this music from? It's from the game. From the game's main menu. My shirt is super cool. Thanks, I got it while I was in Japan from uh, the Gundam Cafe. Because it's all Gundam. It's all, gu it's all Gundam stuff. I love it. Who are you? King Or Levin says, glad to be supporting five months. You've never moved so fast. Well, thank you for subbing for all those five months. It's very, it's very kind and generous of you. We really appreciate it. Uh, this is dope song though, low key. It's just a dope song, not even low key. It's just a dope song. Um, we're back in interrogation. Julia kind of style. Yeah, I, uh, I'm doing it. This is like my only article of clothing that's Gundam related, but I love Gundam, so. By I love Gundam, I mean I love mech things. Is that a framed Death Cab album in the back? Yes. That one? That one. That one is. Yeah. Who are you? Underwater Fungi Party subscribed. Thank you so much. Slam Dunking Benedetto. I'm happy that we could read you. We accidentally made Olive a new bed because Olive just likes to sit in this spot. So our air conditioner is here and we haven't installed it yet because it's been not super hot and we like to open the window. And then we had like the little stand right there little stand that you put like on the window to hold the air conditioner on top like the unit like that and uh she liked to curl up in a ball in the stand because i guess it was like a little divot you know so we put a towel there and now she loves it she sits there all the time looking out the window just going to sleep it's nice Brando Lane, thank you for the sub. Uh, yeah, Olive's adorable. She's cleaning. She's cleaning her little face. She's cleaning her little face right now. Uh, I, uh, I missed a few subs. So let me go back and do this. Hmm. Deddy. Deddy24, thank you for subbing. And I think everyone else is from yesterday's stream now that I'm looking at it. So, let's talk about this game. Uh, I'm sure that chat will have a wonderful actual synopsis for everyone, but I'm gonna do a quick one for anyone who's new. Basically, we are a detective who is investigating uh, this terrorist group that's kind of MRA-y, or that's what we thought in the beginning, but now they're not super MRA, they're just, uh, anti-government? I don't know. It's... Whatever. So, uh, they killed a bunch of people. We've investigated, uh, a bunch of people from that group who have killed some people and some who have not. Uh, and right now, where we are in the story is that we are under investigation for being part of the group, but I don't think we actually are part of this group. Wow, we got uh, some greetings from Denmark from uh, Autisan. Sorry for butchering the pronunciation on that, probably. Uh, she's still cleaning, huh? Greetings from New York. Um, what else is going on? Who are you? Yeah, we keep pretending that we're part of the group, but we're actually not. Snowballs Mac subscribed. Thank you very much. Um, 
I'll explain the mechanics as we go, if you're new here. But, um, we're under investigation. So let's get into it. We're going to be interviewed by the uh, internal affairs dude. Do you understand why I'm here? Oh, right. So also the other thing is that you get choices on how you want to answer things or how you want to question. Um, and whichever one we choose is like the personality. It's not like you have to choose each one. Thank you. Each one that is on the screen, you get like how you want to approach a situation. Um... There was something else. Oh, yeah. So, there is, like, a mole uh, somewhere in the police department who is feeding information to uh, the Liberation Front. And I think that's why they're investigating us. Other than the fact that we keep saying that we agree with <laughs> the Liberation Front. But I just say that to get on their side. So, I'll probably ask you guys for some input on some questions. Well, you'll see as we go. So our three options here are, I don't actually, my team's been performing adequately in all of our tasks. Some internal affairs bullshit can be away from important business, I expect. Ethical concerns, I expect. My team and I navigate a perilous sea in that sense. All these kind of suck. Simsilica is continuing a sub that they got. Thank you very much. One, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Chat say one, have you now? All right, this dude's a uh, hard ass, is what everyone was telling us. So you're confident your department and its behavior haven't breached any internal procedures? Yeah, I chose the nonviolent route. I did great. Um, your company, your, de your department, and its behavior haven't breached any internal procedures. I am, yes. Or, who the hell knows, man? There's so many procedures on bullshit rules that it's impossible to actually do good work with them. Yeah, that's something you should say to the internal affairs, dude. Other than a strong suspicion of Tab, my team's clean. I had one, right? I'm not throwing Tab under the bus. Two feels uh, the most aggressive. And so I don't want to do that. I don't want to attack this dude. So I'm going to go with I am, yes. Very well then. Let's see how this goes. Before we dive... <laughs> uh? Before we dive into the issues, are there any ethic breach ethics breaches you would like to declare yourself? What? Just that I'm still not convinced Tab Thompson isn't involved in the Liberation Front. Pass. I know giving up Bino Vice ignored procedures, but I maintain that it was worth it. What? Giving up Bino Vice? Did we give up Bino Vice? Well, we're not doing one. So, and I can't rem I can't- To be honest with you, I don't even remember who Bino Vice is. Benno Vice, whatever. Or none, I'm running a clean operation. We sure did. Um. Hmm. So they do give hints in this game. So we have, you're in the subject of an investi- interrogation. You need to avoid giving out answers that directly incriminate you. Alright, we're going with three. And cause you to get suspended from your position with the task force. Avoid, avoid raising the level of suspicion through your answers to prevent being tortured for a confession. If they do that, I am switching games. And I will do that in another time. Avoid angering your interrogator to prevent being tortured for a confession. Okay, great. 
Great, great, cool. So we're running, we're do, we're going with three. Of course you are. How would you describe your leadership Ooh, style? Yeah. Autocratic or delegative? Biscuit Quasar, thank you for the sub. Not okay. Just strong sense of hierarchy. Did give my agents abundant space to make their own decisions. Perhaps a bit more autocratic side. People are saying two. All right. Even so, responsibility for the unit's results remains with you. Bino Vice has gotten away as a direct consequence of your actions. What? Hey, what? Can't catch them all. Or, <laughs> that feels dismissive. We saved the factory, didn't we? With pleasure. No need to thank us. Ooh, that feels aggressive. Um, I took a calculated risk and was wrong. There's one more Liberation Front member out there because of me. Everyone's saying three. I feel like that's given me a lot of... Alright, I'll go with three. Clearly. Was it your actual intent to help Bino Vice escape? Huh? No. It was to save the factory and get closer to the Liberation Front leadership, which I did. No, I was sure that Vice before King managed to tip him off. I was sure we'd get Vice before King managed to tip him off. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious with these questions? One or two? I'm not going with three. Everyone's saying one. We'll go with one. Interesting. Why is it that you believe Daniel Wilson to be Liberation Front? Who's Daniel Wilson? Why don't I remember anyone's name? Not even sure he was, but better safe than sorry. Uh, he was manipulated into planting bombs that would have hurt innocents. That makes him a terrorist. It's really simple stuff. Or, I'm close to the Liberation Front. Oh! I'm close to the Liberation Front. I've talked to a dozen of them. I could tell who their people are. Let's not say that we're close to the Liberation Front, shall we? Let's go with one. So much for innocent until proven guilty. Uh-oh! You're trained in profiling. Why is it that you can't give us a set profile to more easily find Liberation Front members? Because I wasn't given that mechanic, Doug. Your training profile was not. Well, it's because they have separated wings with differing ideologies and structures, so a single profile can't apply. That's true. Well, you lack the very same training. So, it would be very hard for you to understand any answers I give you. Okay, that's aggressive. Uh, their strategy specifically is to address different blankets of society, like a matrix approach. That means several profiles, which we are only now beginning to understand fully. Three feels good. Everyone's saying three. Alright, let's go with three. Okay, don't give me that look. I used to work with someone who'd give me that look. <laughs> Why is it that you believe Alex no? Novak. Is it Novak or Novak? Alex Novak to be... Alex Novak not to be Liberation Front. Dog, I don't remember who anyone is. Fellas disturbed. Oh, he's the schizophrenic man. Fellas disturbed. Whatever he did, he can't be held responsible for his actions. No evidence of wrongdoings means that he's innocent. We can't just jail people for association. My department's by the book. Because the priest did it, and the... Uh, had nothing to do with it. It's all in our reports if you'd bother reading them. Okay, that's aggressive. We're not going with three. Um, one or two? In my heart, I believe one. 
But two feels like the most cop answer that he would be looking for. Let's go two. Everyone's saying two. We can, though, if we'd be competent enough to prove conspiracy. Okay. Why did you offer Fred and his support with his transfer? Because we wanted to coax him into helping us, evidently. Because I evaluated it to be no risk to society if he was transferred. Just because I love all the fucking paperwork needed from prosecutors to get him uh, to get him moved. Okay, that one's sarcastic. Uh, number one? One or two? I'm torn on this one. I'm seeing a lot of I'm seeing a lot of ones. Oh, now we're now I'm getting a lot of twos. So I wanted to coax him into helping us, evidently. And, yeah, the word evidently does sound like. All right, yeah, it does seem snarky. Well, let's go too, because I evaluated it to be no risk to society if he was transferred. Who are you? I see. Dual voltage gifted out five tier one subs. Who are you? Thank you so much. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. Who are you? <laughs> Eggs in the wind. I'm glad it's not just me. Who I don't remember you? who anyone is. Let's talk about your management of this operation. I'm pretty sure we've been. That's all we've been talking about you? so far. But okay. Or certainly. Or I do my best to stick to protocols. Three? Two or three? Okay, a lot of people are saying certainly. Okay, he liked that no-nonsense answer. That was a good call, chat. You've alienated and demotivated your agents on occasion. What? Any comments on that? Did I? No, no comment. I merely drive them to be their best for the team to be its best. That sometimes means making them less happy. Well, being on my team takes a toll, and it for the weak. If you can't take the heat, God, God. I can't say no comment. Uh, two? Alright. Chat's in two. Let's go two. Okay, cool. You're known to be... You're known to be the book? But others say that's just a cover for being too soft. Does it mean by the book? You're known to be by the book? What book am I? Oh, Joy. You're known to be the book. I'm the book. I am the book. But the others say that's just a cover for being too soft. Uh, if you can't get them by the book, they're as good as innocent. Or following these rules is the only thing that separates us from them. If that means being soft, fine. I want a soft society. It sticks and stones, I break my bone, but office gossip will never harm me. Two? Wait, I the book. I'm going with two. Yeah, people are saying two. Alright, let's go two. Oh, he didn't like that one. You seem to know a lot about what they advocate and in very specific ideological terms. Do you have contact the Liberation Front off the books? No, I just understand their points of view very well. Oh no, that sounds like I sympathize. It's my job, officer, to understand them. It's like yours to know you're wasting a good cop's valuable time. Of course not. All my research and study and their ideology comes from well documented in our reports. Uh, three? Th I mean, yeah, it's literally our job, dude. Alright, chat saying three, let's go three. Mm hmm. You've spent department money on public relations assistant. What justifies such an expenditure? Why do I have to justify making the public like me? Well, needing PR assistance is what justifies spending on PR assistance. Uh, getting the bullshit press off our asses? Or, the Liberation Front has resources to make us look like the enemy and that needs to be countered. Oh, hi! 
All right, chat saying three. Sorry, Joy's here. I see. How do you feel about the need to talk to the press? I understand its necessity. My father is sending me pictures. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with I understand its necessity. Good. What do you want? Oh. Go to Jacob. She's trying to jump up. There she goes. Okay. Um, so, you're really convinced your operations team are the good guys in all this? Absolutely. Insofar as good guys exist in reality, I don't think of it in those terms. I'm merely doing my job. Chat saying two. Yeah, this, ch this question kind of sucks, but... Uh, chat saying hi. Chat... Chad's saying hi. Hi, Chad. Hi, Chad. Hi, Chad. Chad. Uh, I kind of, I'm kind of feeling, yet, yeah, two does have a lot of attitude. Absolutely, it makes, I don't know, absolutely feels weird. Let's just do doing my job. My dad has given me a game to play. Oh, okay. Let's go with three. I see. He liked that answer. Good job, chat. I want you to understand that all of this is taking place so as to establish you're not doing more harm than good to this operation. So you need to stop the evasion and bullshit. Uh, I'm not giving you neither evasion nor bullshit. I'm fully cooperating. Let's move this along faster if we can. Only thing hurting the operation right now is you keeping me away from it. Yeah, let's do better not do a bad. I'd be very annoyed. Let's go with one. Chat saying one, I'll go with one. We'll see. Kufo, Straco, Bailey, Adam, Higgs, all these Liberation Fronters opened up to you. Why? Judicious use of enhanced interrogation techniques. Maybe their leadership told them to. Like you, I am also quite good at what I do. What does chat think? We're torn between one and three, huh? Let's go with three. Such a smug shit you are. Oh, he doesn't like that. Oh, he smacked us, I guess. Enough. Are you close to the Liberation Front or not? I understand them well. It's my fucking job. Only for the purposes of disassembling their organization. Ironically, you're making light of several procedural and ethical standards right now. Get your hands off me. Ooh. Kind of like three, because if this dude's being an ass. Uh, we can't make him mad, huh? I'm gonna say one. Yeah, I also love three, but I don't want to make him angrier at me. So I'm probably gonna go with one. Oh, well, that's a little arrogant. I think chat's right. Um, two is less suspicious. Alright, let's go with two. Do you find it acceptable that you've psychologically tormented several of these suspects on tape? What did I do? I did not. No, I truly regret it deeply. Yes, of course, a bit of mental anguish is worth saving lives. Mm -hmm. 
this feels like I'm admitting to guilt. I kind of want to go with two. We also played the, like, the cleanest way of this game. We do have the pacifist perk. <laughs> I love chat losing their minds. Let's go with two. <laughs> that was a good face. Some of the people you've intimidated and manipulated were innocent. Why did they deserve to be treated so? They didn't. It's not my job. All the courage in front made suspects of them. They'll be fine after a bit of quality therapy. And they get to not be bombed. Free perk on me. We don't know they weren't liberation front. We just weren't able to prove it. <sighs> this whole chapter feels really weird to me. This whole, like, interview process, because I feel like it doesn't reflect what we actually did. Alright, chat saying one. I'm gonna go with one. Your team decided they were suspects, not the front. Okay. You were way too sympathetic to their points of view in so many of these interrogations. When did you become a fan of their ideology? They have good points, their methods aside. You're insane. It's my job to trick them. I have to appear sympathetic. Of course I'm not. I'm probably gonna go with two. Yeah, let's go with two. I will not be the fool. I will not be the fool that allowed the liberation to flourish as a cancer to be spread by the incompetent and traitorous idiot who refused to end them. Okay. You're keeping me from my work against the front, you madman. Mr. Hall, I need you to calm down. That's a good way to calm people down, is to tell them to calm down. Alright, I confess. I confess to whatever you want. Well, we're not doing three. So... And one feels aggressive, so two? I'm gonna go with two. I'm not one of your fucking suspects, this is my ride. Okay. Tell me this, are you ready to die for the cause of ending these monsters? No, I'm not a fanatic like they are. We can't just be their mirror image. Yes, my life for thousands of lives would be otherwise lost. Or I'm afraid the Liberation Front will win the clash of ideas. Theirs is the future. One? I'm feeling one. The other ones are... Yeah, I definitely feel like this man is the front. Alright, I'm gonna go with one. Can't just be their mirror image. Well, let's see where you stand then. What do you even stand for in all this, ultimately? You stand for our orders or for a destruction ideo ideological values? I, sta I stand for the law. Ultimately, I stand for equity. Just do my job here, man. <laughs> Step off. One? Or three? <laughs> we are the book. And uh, uh, a lot of people are saying three. Yeah, but I would be evading if I was doing three. And he told us to stop evading, so I'm gonna go with one. I stand for the law. Oomph. Considering you convinced, confessed to ignoring the presumption of innocence of some suspects and you declared breach, breaches of due procedure. I don't think the writers of this game know how cops interview people. Have you never watched a First 48? If you watched an episode of the First 48, you would see that every cop is just like, You did it! Yeah, also he, uh, like, the uh, chopped us, or whatever. He did, like, a weird, like, meh, meh. Uh, 
Yeah, I... This part of the game feels weird. I am hereby suspending you from active duty. Someone else will be assigned to your post. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say two, because screw him anyway. He did Vulcan pinch us. Very funny. Don't be absurd. Turn in your gun and badge. What? So... Okay. Okay. So, I'm just gonna go... I mean, if the part that we messed up was saying that we, like, tormented people or whatever, we'll just say that we didn't. Even though it wasn't an option. Uh, my team's been performing this house adequately. Uh, you're confined... So you're... Oh, sorry. So you're confident you're... Um... I am, yes. Now I'm running a clean operation. How would you describe your leadership style? Abundant space. Um, sure, this one. I'm gonna say this one. Yet he managed, right under your nose. Why is it that you believe Daniel Wilson to be Liberation Front? Oh. See, this is where he said that we assumed that he was guilty and not innocent. Not even sure he was, but better safe than sorry. He... Wasn't he also the one that was, like, conspiracy? Like, you can convict them on conspiracy or whatever? This dude's a contradicting jerk. Stupid scar. Close to the liberation front. I'm gonna go with the manipulating things. Thank you for explaining it then. Alright, you dick. You're the one who asked. You're the one who asked. Uh, you're trained in profiling. Why is it that you can't... Um, I'm gonna say this one. Alright. Why is it that you believe Alex Nowak, Novak not to be liberation front? I'm gonna say this one. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I'm confused by that. Why did you offer Fred Anna support with his transfer? Okay. Let's talk about the management of this operation. Certainly. You've alienated and demotivated your agents on occasion. Any comments on that? I legitimately don't understand what this means. But, let's do that. You're known to be the book. I'm gonna say one, I think. Yeah, but you love that sort of thinking. Yeah, dip. You seem to know a lot about the... Okay, this is, like, legitimately my job. Now I understand their points of view very well. No. Okay. You spent department money on public relations, whatever. That needs to be countered. How do you, uh, I understand it's necessary. Absolutely. I want you to understand. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna say this one. Should we go with let's move it along faster? Was this something that- was this the thing that caused him to chop us before? To Vulcan pinch us?
I mean, he's definitely gonna hit us. We can't attack the man. Even after he punched us. that's He's just gonna punch us even more. We got punched after one last time. Alright. A lot of people are saying three, but I feel like... That's just gonna cause him to attack us. Yeah, but two is gonna be like, oh, I decide here. This is a, your whatever. I'll go with three. You insolent shit, you. Kufo, Strasco, Bailey, Adams, Higgs. All these liberation fronts are open to you. Why? Judicial use of enhanced interrogation techniques. That sounds like I beat them up and I didn't. Maybe their leadership told them to. Like you, I'm also quite did. So he didn't like this answer before. I can't say enhanced interrogation techniques because we're pacifists. We didn't get hit. That's a... That's a good sign. Is it one? Let's go with one. <laughs> he like first chokes us. Enough, are you close to the liberation front or not? I want- I so want to do three, but he's gonna just yell at us. Who are you? Taruka112, thank you for the sub. Alright, everyone's telling me to do it anyway. Oh, really? That's a fucking preoccupying you right now? Do you find it acceptable that you've psychologically tormented several of these suspects on tape? I'm gonna say this one. that. Seems so like, yeah, no, you're right. Um, some of the people you've intimidated and manipulated were innocent. What did they do to be treated so? Three does the we think they're guilty before being innocent. And he didn't like the first answer, so should I go with two? Yeah, people are saying two. I'll go with two. Oh, he's shaking his head. You were way too sympathetic to their points of view in so many of the interrogations. When did you become a fan of their ideology? Um, I have to appear sympathetic, of course. I'm not. Is this answer? This answer was fine, right? Before? Apparently not. You're working with them. Or at least you were. <laughs> Admit it. He's trying to get us on anything. You're psychotic. I mean, that is what I want to answer. Should we do one or three? What does everyone think? Let's do one. Maybe you should realize what danger you're in. What does that mean? I will not be the fool that allowed the liberation from blah, 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 blah. Mr. Hall, I need you to calm down. I'm gonna go with one, because it cracks me up. Yeah, everyone's saying one. You're not leaving here before you convince me of it. I can't convince you of anything. You're an asshole. You're an idiot asshole. You're like the anti-maskers. Tell me this, are you ready to die for the- No! You can't be their mirror image. Well, let's see where you stand, then. Where do you even stand for all this- I've- I stand for the- the... Hmm. Excuse me? doing with that uh is that supposed to scare me it's people like you that lends the liberation front so much credence about the abusive nature of the state i mean i 
I want to say three, but three does make us sound like a member. <laughs> wow, I'm doing out the knife again. I mean, three is, yeah, three is true. Wow, we're all over the place, huh? I feel like two's gonna get me stabbed. Two will definitely make him stab me. So should we go with one? Merely pursuing the truth. He stabbed me anyway. Speak. Are you a liberation front sympathizer? I know, but you are. <laughs> no, are you trying to make me one? I'm gonna say that. Because it's very funny. Ah, oh, he went again. Okay. You remember a liberation front. This is dumb. This is a dumb chapter. No is like the most clear cut answer. People are saying three, but he doesn't like us dodging his questions. People are still saying three. I'm just gonna say no. I don't know anymore! Let's say we're getting faint. Gee, thanks, what a gentleman. I mean, all of these are true. But two sounds like we're sympathizing. Yeah, two is way too fronty. People are saying three or one. Three is funny. <laughs> it's like three element. Um, sass is ass. All right. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry I had to stab you so many fucking times. I just had to make sure. What does that mean? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, a two, right? I'm gonna say two. Fill out the appropriate forms. Let's take things through their procedures. What? <laughs> Don't give me that look, you dickhead. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna say two. That was awful. Sorry, everyone. I had no idea that was going to happen. That was dumb. That was really dumb. I've been really enjoying this game until that stupid section. That was awful. Back to it, everyone. It's time to talk. 
You're coming up on leadership nearing the end game. Okay. I mean, it's, so far the agents have hurt me more than the, the freaking terrorists have. You're not going to get a lot of attempts at cracking at them. Chances are, chances are, whoever's leading this, that they're powerful people. The Brigadi Riots were supposedly a student movement. Bullshit. Ringleaders using impressionable youth for their own ends. Oh, wow. Wonder what? I'm allowing that. Um, I wonder. I mean, that's not happening today, in today's day and age. No, not at all, not right now. Not at all. I don't like Joseph either. Somehow, liking Joseph a lot more. Yeah, the worst part was definitely the interrogation successful screen. It made me actively uncomfortable. <laughs> So if you do you? get him, you have to be ready to act. Decisively. During the small window of time that you'll have him. Alright, don't give me that look either. What did you do to end the Burgundy Riots? Raptor X13X, thank you for the sub. Joseph, <laughs> at least Joseph hasn't stabbed us yet. Hey, the bar, real low. I had the evidence I needed to prove them guilty. And looked the other way as... An escape attempt was foiled. The use of lethal force. Because you have to understand, you do so much damage even from inside a cell. Not that you'll ever get them in jail. You'll either win their trial or end up off the map. So if it happens that you get conclusive proof on them, they perish. Consider it mission accomplished. Uh, well, Joseph went back to being shitty again. So, JK, haha. <laughs> I appreciate your directness and counsel, Joseph, n even if I'm not sure I agree. You're right. Once I have proven, once I have them proven, skills and stuff, blah, blah, blah. this outrageous position. How are you not worried about. I, I mean, three. <laughs> Fuck them. One or three? Who are you? Whale Yane subscribed. Thank you so much. Everyone's saying one. All right. Maybe I'm still feeling salty. I wanted. I wanted to go for three. We're getting so close, boss. I'm like dripping everywhere. I'm covered in bruises. Um. Uh... Congratulations on Lisa. I scrolled back up to see what your message was. Congratulations, that's very exciting. We're getting so close, boss. Corroborating everything, mounting evidence, pushing all the liberation from members we've caught, outside sources. We finally have something solid. One, Alexa Brown, connected to travel arrangements. Apparently made for the front's top leadership. The rumor on the street is that the front is looking outside the city and country, gathering other radicals for the cause. Trying to bring together under their umbrella all the psychos ready to kill for their ideology. We're heading out to Greb Brown. Okay. Hell yeah, I'm going to report Elias Hall. Tab, you want it. I'm gonna get some PR assistance again. <coughs> Tab will save us. Get us therapy, yeah. Let's do that. As requested by the incarcerated Daniel Wilson, finance the medical operation his mother requires as she's in critical condition and will not survive. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. That's fine. 
That's all I need. Let's save some money. All right, what else we got? Let the information be leaked that you are about to... Oh, that's cool. Brief Interpol. Keep Interpol abreast of the uh, international angle and the developments with the front. I mean, yeah, that would be a good idea, I think, by the book. That would be good, too. We don't need more authority approval. We've already got that a hondo. <laughs> no one could go home early. Maybe this is the last chapter. That'd be cool. Ha! <laughs> Let's go after Elias Hall. I did get therapy. Don't worry about it. Should we go for both? I mean, let's go for both Elias Hall angles. I don't even know what I'm debating that for. We should brief Interpol. That would be good. What else? We got uh, Mordecai left. And he's got 95% on rumor mongering. We don't really need the city hall brief. We could do a press conference, which would boost our approval, I guess, with the reporters. That would be my guess. Or we can do rumor mongering. I do need a press conference. Budget. You don't need a budget. It's probably like the last chapter. It's fine. Press conference? Everyone's saying press conference. All right. Organize a press conference. I love 80%. Let's put our least charismatic person on this. I do have garbage PR. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's good. I feel like that's good. All right. I feel like we've done it. We we're going after Elias Hall because he sucks. We're briefing Interpol. All right, let's continue. We uh, we found Brown deceased in her apartment. Was it Elias? How many uh, punches and knife stabs were there? A parent suicide. Oh. That we can't exclude that the Liberation Front is tying up vulnerable loose ends. Plenty of LF material around her apartment. Just the usual propaganda. No names. This woman was our... This woman was a route to the leadership. The best one yet. Excuse me. Oh, well, I'm glad I got everyone in therapy. <coughs> Got these out of the paper shredder. Maybe you can make something of it. All right. Well, I recognize that face. I recognize that face. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Gotcha. Yep. Valerie Arnett. Mm -hmm. We gotta go after this lady. Valero. That's. Gotta move these down so I can see the beginnings. Oh, there we go. Once again, I would like to apologize for that last chapter. As I mentioned, I did not know that would be a thing that was going to happen. I'm playing this for the first time with y'all. I did not see anything in the reviews that said it would do that. Boop. Hey. Oh no, it's not a boop. <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, got it. <clears throat> and the other part of that V. This is the first time we're watching. Sorry. A thorough apology there. Okay, what we got? Uh, oh, we need the rest of that word. Here we go. Okay. That's an R. Somewhere. Oh, here we go. Boop! I need an ent. <clears throat> Got stabbed by the other department is a very funny sentence because it makes it sound like accounting stabbed us. There we go, document. Nope, not that one. Oh, here we go. Nope, oh, here we go. Got that one. Got, nope. There we go, there we go. Just gonna keep sliding this, thank you. Slide that, slide that, slide that. Got that. Hey! Valerie Arnett, senior concierge of Valera International Airlines, rival Cambodia. Right. This is who we're looking for. Head to that plane now and bring them to me. Yay! Our popularity is going up. Like me. Oh. Yeah, we probably did get her killed, huh? Didn't think that was an option. Oh, I never actually read this. So, the mission report. Tab Thompson, the grave aspects indicated in the report will be urgently investigated. Yeah, the fact that he punched me and stabbed me several times? Yeah, investigate that. Denounce Elias Hall. The press is preparing the story for, sto story, the story for a front page feature. The chief, however, is livid that you took the story public before an internal investigation. Well, screw him. The press is treating the announcement as an important piece of news and spins it positively. Brief Interpol. We've received thanks from Interpol for our contribution and detailed briefing. What is this? Ah, yes, our our team. Um, let's continue, I guess. Oh, we should do ads. Thank you. We're going to do three minutes of ads. Uh, uh, take the time to go uh, get your meds, take your meds, get a bite to eat, get some water, hydrate yourself, do a stretch. We'll be back in three. Goodbye. Everyone else is still here. Hello. Again, I would like to apologize for that section. I did not know. It was unpleasant. Very unpleasant. Yeah, we really done messed up with the, uh... With the denouncing thing. I didn't even think about that, so... Did you mess it all up? I'm, I got someone killed. Did you, did you mess it? That's... You're not supposed to do that in an interrogation. No. I also got stabbed many times. I'm gonna rotate my camera so you're on. Usually in interrogation, you're supposed to ask questions to get information, not kill anyone. Right. I think you you it's a little too aggressive. You're yeah. gonna have to give you a demerit on your <laughs> permanent record. 
So here's what's confusing about what just happened in this game, right? We have been playing this the most by the book way. I reveal the cat. <gasps> oh, stretch. Boop. Um, and then this guy was yelling at us because we pretended to be on people's side, and he was like, "That's against the rules." And then he stabbed us. In interrogation. He stabbed you? Yeah. Aren't you supposed to be pretending to be on their side if you want to get the info? Yeah. So the whole chapter was really weird. It was a weird part of this game, and I did not like it. You got stabbed. I got stabbed and punched. It was it was bad. I'm going to put on the webcam mode so that people can see the kitty. Here's the cat. Don't you dare. Don't joy. you dare. Joy. Don't you dare. Joy. You stay here. Joy. 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 Don't you dare. Joy. 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 Don't you dare. Joy. Don't. He left the apartment. He fell on lift. Yo! She's still hanging out. He's not back. He left. Yo! Give me the, the sleepiest blank. Joey! Come here! Come see the people! Joey! What if I gave you a snack? I'm gonna go get Joy a snack. Uh, we are back. Oh my god, bitch. Bitch, You want to come up here? Come here. Okay. Now you got to sit. That's a good girl. Yeah. Oh, look, do you want one? You don't want one. Here you go. That's a good girl. Good sit. We've been training Joy like you train a dog. Olive is still here. Good girl. Do you want? Are you? Do you want? Not you, you gremlin. Not you. Joy is great. They're both good kitties. Olive doesn't, Olive's not food motivated. She doesn't care about food. Olive could not care less. We found one treat that she actually likes. And it's those little like, pouches. It's those little pouches with the, the gooey, sticky chicky in it. She likes that. Joy is obsessed with food. There's also a cat butt right there now. Oh, that's Jacob. I'm not a cat butt. There's a cat butt right there. That's you. There's a cat butt. I'm not a cat butt. You're not a cat butt, you're right. I'm Jacob. Not pill pouches, they're like, they're these little, like pockets that kind of look like Capri Suns where you rip open the top and then you push out 
the little shredded chicken and there's like it's covered in syrup. Chat saying you're a cat butt. They can say that all they want, but it's false. Um it is like chicken go grit, kind of. Yeah, but that's the only treat that we found that Olive likes. Let's get back to the game. Hopefully it'll be more chill from now on. Let's let's get back to the game. Morty called. The flight the four were on is about to take off. He doesn't technically have a warrant, and it seems the air marshals won't let him take all four of them. Why not? They'll only give him two. Say so he can handle escorting them himself. It's a procedurally stupid situation, but Morty will need a decision now. You'll have to tell him the two persons you want brought in from the four suspects. I'm afraid I have more bad news on top of that. Abraham Jamail just called top hotshot criminal lawyer Honest Abe from the TV commercials. Oh god. Turns out he's been hired by anonymous parties to represent all all the all of the four suspects on the plane. The moment he's here, you can consider the interrogation over. All we have is circumstantial. He's fortunately coming in from outside of town, so Morty should be able to bring them in. Bring in your chosen two a bit earlier than his arrival. You simply must draw from them some sort of confirmation of who... <coughs> Excuse me. And who might be Liberation Front leadership before he arrives. Yeah, we're gonna have another time to derogation. Who should Morty bring in? You can only get a hold of two of them. Oh, but they all look like assholes. Damascus Reed. I feel like we've heard the name Damascus Reed. Oh, we have little blurbs. Valerie Arnett works as for the exclusive travel agency that arranged all of the other trips to... Yeah. What? Anabali is a reputed sociology and anthropology professor scheduled to speak at the conference. Okay. Dennis Schmidt is a dentist, no criminal record, flying alone. Quick background check revealed that he recently got engaged. Damascus Reed is a well-known entrepreneur and the driving force behind the recent tech business boom. Jacob was doing some work, and now he's he's doing a chill. He's doing a chill out. Uh People are saying first and last. So, should we go with Valerie and Damascus? Alright. Let's go with them. Good, I'll inform him. See, the other two just go to get to go to Vietnam? That seems stupid. Alright. After researching the... After, sorry. After searching the apartment of Alexa Brown, a person we suspect has handled the travel arrangements of the front's leadership... We identified a flight booked for three people and their company handler headed to, oh, it's Cambodia. I apologize. To Cambodia without a warrant. I keep skipping the name because 
I'm not 100% sure on how to pronounce it, and I'm going to butcher it. So, uh, Tab got... Tab... Uh, Tab was never really a suspect. Tab, Tab is cleared. Uh, without a warrant, sufficient time to obtain one before the flight took off, Mordecai has personally picked up and is now escorting two of the four people on the list back to the police station. All the information points lead them... Lead... All the information points towards them being part of the leadership of the front, or at least the very least closely connected to them. The suspects seem to be willing to answer questions, but a lawyer, Abraham Jamal, is currently on his way. He will likely pull them out of questioning and prevent us from interacting with the suspects until we have a warrant, not to mention pursue potential claims against us for the unlawful detainment. As well, when this happens, the leadership of the front would most likely be alerted to our actions and would lose a vital opportunity in detaining the very top of the Liberation Front. Panom Pen, thank you. I thought it was something like that, but I was not sure enough. So thank you, everyone. All right. Valerie Arnett works as an exclusive white collar travel agency. The company advertises that they handle transportation, five star accommodation, all restaurant and tourist bookings, as well as catering to the needs of their upscale clients during vacation or business trip. The bookings of all the other three suspects were done through this travel agency and Valeri, Valeri and the Thousand Sons was assigned to be their flight attendant and guide in Cambodia. This would allow her excellent excuse for frequent flights and move in high-end circles uh, without raising any alarm, allowing her to coordinate terrorist cells. Just peeking! Just peeking! Just peeking on this one! Listen, guys, uh, it's illegal, but we just got cleared of uh, internal affairs. So <laughs> let's ride it. I'm just joking, obviously. It's uh, very legal. Damascus Reed is a well-known entrepreneur, philanthropist, writer, and business guru. Good, he's going to be like the people from Simulacra 2. His ability to disrupt markets through innovation and extremely fast expansion has given him a reputation as a visionary amongst his peers. His companies, specializing in cutting-edge technology and big data, I immediately, by the way, for big data, pictured, like, giant graphs, like a giant pie graph that's just, like, several stories tall. This guy is 5 foot 12, so he's 6 foot? Okay. It's amazing. Uh, as a CEO, he has been accused of imposing long work hours and of creating a highly uh, stressful work environment. Oh, it's great. He sounds wonderful. He certainly would have the money to fund the Liberation Front, as well as important connections to powerful people nationally and abroad. Judging by his tax returns, he is proficient in moving his money around untracked. Oh, get him. Bring him in. Greetings, Mr. Nett, or should I call you Lady Luck? Much more suitable name for the occasion. Ooh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I will jump straight to the point. You are charged with terrorism and facing a very probable life sentence. Good day! Excuse my colleague for interrupting your trip, but we need your help in this high level terrorist investigation. Good day! I don't know if she's Lady Luck. What do we feel, fam? I don't know if she's Lady Luck, so I don't know if number one would be good. People are saying three. All right, let's go with uh, three. That sounds exciting, but I do not appreciate you harassing my customers. 
Certainly, you are suspected of leading a terrorist organization, the Liberation Front. I'm glad you're willing to cooperate, and I apologize for disrupting your clients. So anyone who's new to this game, um, there are these little charts on the right here, this upper right-hand corner. Um, this is how scared of us she is, and it's negative one, so she's uh, pretty comfortable with us. And this is how comfortable she is with us, meaning like how willing she is to give up little details. Uh, and she's at a one, which isn't the worst, but it's not the best. You can go up to like eight, so. Um, let's go with two. Glad you're willing to cooperate. That made her more comfortable with us. As long as this is wrapped up quickly, everything should be all right. Very well, Miss Arnett, let's begin. This is so like the movies. Are you playing dumb with us? I understand you're flying towards Phnom Penh. Yellow text, yes, thank you, uh, Moth Dad, is a uh, text that we've unlocked. So, special text. Um, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your trip. Let's discuss your background as a flight attendant for a second. How come two people that don't know each other have the same lawyer coming to represent them? Oh, that's a good point. I do have some questions about your client uh, clients on this plane. Let's talk about the Liberation Front. The booze! <laughs> I do have booze, that's right. I, I literally don't know how to activate the booze. Alright, they need to trust us. I, I don't know how to get the booze. Yeah, it did say something about a drawer, but I see no drawers. Let's discuss your background as a flight attendant for a second. Maybe this will make her more comfortable with us. It's an exciting job. What would you like to know? Why did you decide to become a flight attendant? I've always loved the idea of adventure, you know. I just hate being pinned down. I hate the monotony. And joining an extremist organization is part of the adventure, right? I think there's more to it. You make the adventures of others a reality. That is admirable. I don't know. I. Someone said you activate it the same way you activate the taser literally have no idea how to activate that thing. <laughs> Let's go with two. Two is the most like suck up -y. That's a nice thing to say. Thank you. Oh my god, you're welcome. Ask a few questions about the trip. I guess, of course. I think I have a brochure on me somewhere. How long were you supposed to stay? No. I'm gonna ask that. What does executive customer satisfaction expert mean? I aid the customers who purchase our deluxe first class package with organizing their trip and I attend to their needs. Who were your clients on this flight? Would she tell us? Maybe, maybe not. Let me turn off the tapes? I think she's doing okay. Uh, what do you mean when they say you organize the trips and tend to their needs? I choose a hotel, and then I take care of them on the plane, I arrange transport to and from the airport, I provide touristic advice. How did you choose the hotels to accommodate your customers? A hotel, only one, I chose the hotel with our highest internal rating, Hotel Liberté. Okay, that wasn't even well disguised, writers of this game! I send them to the Hotel Liberate Fronte.
I don't know what is going on. There's a car literally outside my window just blasting music and I apologize. Um... Okay... Ask her about the clients. Yeah. Who are your clients on this flight? Oh, fine. They're Anna... <laughs> Annabelle Lee. Dennis Schmidt and Damascus Reed. Please don't tell the airline you got this from me. Okay. Let's talk about your clients. Let's talk about your clients. Do you, I have some questions about your clients on this plane. Same rules as last time. Don't say the airline. You know this from me, please. This is the only way I can read her lines is the Valley Girl. I need the details of the arrangement you made for Annabelle Lee. You need the details of the arrangement? Okay. Let's get her to trust us a little bit more. I feel like. I know I'm, I'm wasting time by Who doing this, but... I'm Lauren. Thank you for the sub. How much money do you make as a flight attendant? Oh, God. I butchered that. Whoops. Sorry, lady. Yeah, but if we turn off the tape, then internal affairs can happen again. Maybe. And I just don't want that to happen. She needs no other hobbies? What? I have so many hobbies. I like my job, but I still have a lot of hobbies. She's back at three, so great. I guess let's try to ask about Damascus Reed. His logistical requirements are often strict and quite demanding. I guess she could say that she doesn't... Alright, where is he? Well, we know where he's gonna stay. He's gonna stay at that hotel. Why did Damascus fly to... Maybe a conference? Uh, is he supposed to meet anyone over there? When was Mr. Reed supposed to have his return flight? Mr. Reed did not schedule a return flight. He's supposed to leave for Shanghai. Well, I guess we got the answer to the first one now. Is he supposed to meet anyone there? He booked three conference rooms with full catering included, so I guess he planned several meetings. Why did Damascus fly to... Alright, that was a waste. Notice anything unusual about him? The fact that he had a stack of different passports was interesting. What? What do you mean he had a stack of passports? What? Okay, let's talk to this idiot. Greetings, Mr. Reed, or should I call you Lady Luck? A much more a suitable name for the occasion. I will jump straight to the point. You were charged with terrorism facing a very probable life sentence. Good day! Excuse my colleague for interrupting your trip, but we need your help in a high level of terrorism investigation. I feel like he's gonna yell at us either way. Terrorism? You really think I'm linked to that? Really? Uh, I'm sure the truth is nuanced. That's why I'm here to ask you a few questions. Mr. Reed, don't insult my intelligence, but act as stupid. You knew this day would come. Alright, we're going with one. Nuanced. Look, I don't know who is trying to sw try take a swing at me with this. You must have been manipulated into believing this is absurd. Very well, Mr. Reed, let's start. That's for the purpose of his trip. I had several business meetings, as usual. I understand the hotel you chose to stay at was Hotel Liberté. I'm going to ask about the passports. If 
you want to be able to take advantage of some business opportunities, you need to be able to go everywhere. Not one passport would get you that level of mobility. How does that work? I don't understand how that works. I have two passports. It's because I'm dual citizenship. It's also illegal. <laughs> it's illegal to do that. It's a passport hop. I also don't think you can have more than two nationalities as an American. That's what I remember from applying for French one, anyway. Um... Why do you have to go in person to take advantage of business opportunities? Can't you talk on the phone? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, okay, that was a stupid question. Oh, you can. You can have... You can only have... Yeah, okay. Oh, you can have more than two. Okay. Um... Mm. I own it? You what?! Valerie Arnett, your flight attendant says you did not choose the hotel. She did because the airline rated it the highest. Well, honestly, oh, did his fear go up? Well, honestly, my secretary deals with these things. If you own a hotel, you usually assume that you are staying in it because you own it. Rich people problems. Let's talk about something else. Let's look at this, your background as a businessman. Sure, biographical conversations. Exactly how I plan to spend my day. Okay. You claim you're rich. What do you do with all their money? How did you become a businessman? I see a problem. I can't help but thinking of ways to fix it. Looks like people are willing to pay for that. What's the secret in your business? How do you manage to be so successful? You keep your eyes open and think of what could make people happy. And you design something that would make them happy. Hard work also helps. I'm sure it also takes more than that. Otherwise, we could all be rich. And those who can't afford it deserve to be happy? I'm gonna say one, because one is schmoozy. Right? Yeah, he went up a, a blip. Of course, you also have to take in... You also have to put in the hours and take the risk, but it all starts with the desire to make the world a better place. In what way? You claim to be rich. It's a very funny sentence. I have uh, questions about a few other people who are on the plane with you. Sure, but I usually have things to do. Better things to do than finding out. Okay, whatever. <sighs> Were you aware- uh, Also, I have a disclaimer for anyone who's maybe new here. I choose options that I think will get the characters to open up to me, not things that I necessarily agree with. Were you aware that the other suspects were also planned to stay at your hotel? No, I didn't. And I don't appreciate you harassing my customers. Do you know Valerie Arnett? Not really, but I like the ring of that name. Okay. Do you know Annabelle Lee? Is she the daughter of Hector Lee? I dated her once, but no, her name was Alyssa Lee, a different person. Okay. Dennis Schmidt? Who? No, never heard of him. All right, that was a waste of my time. Let's talk about the front. Sure, why not? What is your opinion of the front? As long as they don't disrupt my operations, I don't care much about them. Do you agree with their means? I like their PR, but of course, I don't agree with their violent behavior. 
What about they're down with the government message? What about they're down with the system? Down with the system! And down with the rich messages. Yeah, I'm gonna ask Valerie. What's he supposed to say? At hotel over there? Okay, yeah. Who do you say you're supposed to meet over there? Good conference room for- eh, okay. Did you personally know Damascus Reed before the flight? I know that he worked with our airline before for the news, but I know him only by his public reputation. about Liberation Front. What is your opinion about the Liberation Front? They're terrorists, right? I'm a flight attendant. Not liking terrorists is almost a job requirement. Do you agree with their motives? I don't really know what they're about, and I don't care to find out. Do you agree with their claims that the world should strive towards equitable society? Do you believe it should we strive towards absolute freedom? Why not? I don't even know what that means. Cool. You know what? I want to threaten him with the thing. Down with the rich. Oh, his thing went up. His thing went up a point. I'm going to threaten him with the cutoff thing. I've heard the front has cut off support with their prison members, Reed. Good thing I don't plan on visiting a prison anytime soon. His fear went up. It might trigger a potential leader if they are faced with the credible possibility of leaving the front in the hands of others. Do you agree with their motives? They don't have assumed... What? They don't have assumed any demands or even objectives, so how could I? I gonna say the first one. Oh, he's more scared! Well, let's just hope you stop them before that happens, no? I don't want him to be scared, really, because I can't use force and I don't want to use force, so... But it is interesting that he's scared. Do you agree with their means? All right. what he does with all the money. What do you think? There should be something else? How does one with your background end up... Ooh, we could press him again. We could either scare him a little bit more or it would damage the trust. Do you believe capitalism and free markets leave many behind? I'm gonna say that. Any system will leave some behind. It also pulls millions out of poverty. And on the aggregate, the levels of inequality have never been higher. But there is a great power imbalance between the rich and the working class, perhaps, but a social perception matters more and blame their plight on the rich. I feel like these two would suck up to him. Probably the third one is the most 
So that got be one. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, he's scared of us a little bit more. And blame their plight on the rich. Why are we scaring this man so much? I believe we're past the torches and pitchforks part of history. Should we do the leader of a terrorist organization thing? I feel like we should. I didn't even know, cop. You must have some theories swirling in my brain of yours. I think you're bored. The world at your fingertips and nothing can stimulate you more. I think you're somehow profiteering from this whole thing. I'm guessing you feel held back by laws and regulations. Ooh. Well, he did get in trouble a lot, right? For putting stress on people. So we could do... I feel like it might be th three. He wants to get at the establishment so that he can profit more. What do we think, chat? I mean, he's definitely profiting, but does he want to profit more? So is it two or three? What do we think? Seeing a few votes for three. I'm gonna go with three. Let's go with three. Oh, he trusts us less, but he's more scared of us. What, and bribes have finally stopped working? Come on, be real. What? Both. He gets to trust us and be scared of us? Acquire the tickets. I have an assistant. She does these kind of things, right? Have we been to Cambodia before? Look, I don't know why he's been in the village. Okay. Let's go with three. What do we say, cop? Okay, now he's anti-establishment. Uh, were there any people you had to meet while you were there? Do you, have any, do you own any business in Cambodia? Yes, I do. Several, actually. Both in Phnom Penh and the rest of Southeast Asia. Can you elaborate? So customer service call centers for a couple of my startups in a hotel in Phnom Penh. Oh, and a few small factories in the rest of the country. Why did you pick this location for a hotel? Why did you pick Cambodia location for your factories? Okay. Okay. So the hotel you were talking about earlier is Hotel Liberté. No costume villain could stand in your way of your deduction skills. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Welcome two people that don't know each other have the same lawyer coming to represent them. He's my lawyer, where the hell do you care? Why has the lawyer been contacted to represent all the suspects in this investigation? Because you pulled us out of a claim with no warrant. More lawsuits are better than one. Everything we did was by the book, so don't put too much hope on that. Or, rather, all you have is a product. Fair enough, sounds smart. <laughs> I kind of like this one. It might make him trust us a little bit more. Yeah! Finally, a public servant that understands how the state works. Okay, so we need to keep his trust over three. My trigger potential is faced with credible possibility of leaving the front in the hands of others. Talk about something else. But I don't know.
already asked him about all that. Um... Oh, no, not that one. That'll get her to trust us. Ah, oh, yes, thank you, of course. Um, why would they... Who would hire an expensive lawyer to shark for you? A lawyer, expensive law shark for you. Have you heard of him? Yeah, I know I've got the time. We might have to restart, but at least we'll have a direction. Yeah, I didn't think she would have an answer. background. Oh, she just trusts us a little bit less. Um, access to international travel around who soldiers with rich people seems like a rich life. The friend does not care about race or religion, so being well-traveled does not absolve you. Uh, I feel like I've really gotten into a bad spot here, but I'll say one. Nope, she don't like that. Yeah, I also don't know why, but whatever. She needs to be a little scared of us, and I don't know how to make that happen without, like, actually- Wah! Do you know that Damascus Reed owns the hotel reserved to your clients? I did not. I chose it simply because it offers the best services in the price range. I'm a professional officer. Okay. Are you supposed to stay there? I was supposed to leave. I was supposed to have a two day break in Cambodia for accompanying some local customers for another trip. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna have to restart, but let's use this time to fish for some information. Maybe I should ask about the other people? You notice anything unusual about her? She seems stressed and preoccupied, but I guess that's normal for people in her position. When was Annabelle Lee supposed to have a return flight? She was scheduled to remain in Cambodia for seven days, I recall. Why did she fly there? From what I remember, she was supposed to take a science at the conference there. Is she supposed to meet anyone? 
She had lunches planned and some lectures as well as meet and greet session with students. Let's ask about Dennis. Ah, nothing special here, really. Usual tourist business. Why did you fly there? Cultural visits, usual. Uh, what was he supposed to have his return flight? From what I remember, it was actually in one week's time. Okay. Is he supposed to meet anyone? He had bookings at several bars every night. But I was not informed of any company. Do you know anything unusual about him? I gotta put this. Mr. Schmidt was very, very obvious when staring at a number of female passengers, especially the more attractive ones. That's fine. Bot truck. Sorry about your internet. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. We stick with him for now. Already asked him all that. Should we just press him? Let's just press him and then we can restart if it doesn't work. I just can't trust you as far as I can throw you, cop. If you know my reputation, it doesn't fear from working with me. Yeah, I think you're just someone who can be reasonable and cool headed. I ain't confessing shit. So let's say I can give you some advice. Really, what advice are you talking about? Run international operations, how to establish networks, motivate people, or could have done it all. Very well, Mr. Reed. Let's see. We should have pressed him earlier. Let's restart. We're gonna stick with the same two. We're gonna stick with the same two. And then we know, we know, sorry, my bottle almost fell. We know uh, what to say to him. Excuse my colleague, that sounds exciting, but I do not appreciate. Uh, I apologize for disturbing your clients. Okay, very well, let's begin. Um, let's talk about, let's talk about, talk about your background as a flight attendant we're not gonna ask the money thing uh why did you become a flight attendant uh that's really admirable um did you have some questions about the clients on your plane Let's ask about Damascus Reed. Okay. Where is he supposed to stay? Okay. Now let's talk to Reed. Robin A. Hello to your bunny. here to ask you some questions. Very well, Mr. Reed, let's start. So we gotta get this dude trust in us and scared of us. Uh, let's talk about your business as a uh, businessman. Um, what's the secret in your business? How'd you manage to become so successful? Otherwise, we would all be rich. Okay. We 
What do you do with your money? How did you become a businessman? Okay. What do you do with all your money? I usually reinvestment. I'm not interested in private jets and luxury rooms, that's what you're asking. So you don't have any hobbies? We're not dating here, cop. Okay. Um... How do we get him to... I, I don't want to turn off the tape recorder. I want to do this by the book. useless questions. Okay. How do we get him? Oh, talking about the front made him scared. Right. Sure, why not? What's your opinion on the front? Do you agree with their means? Do you agree with their motives? They don't have assumed any demands or even objectives. How could I? That just means they will fight aimlessly destroying everything people like you have built. Let's just hope you stop them before then, right? Do you agree with their means? I like the PR, but of course I don't agree with their violent behavior. What about the down with the rich? I just let you know my friend's canceled. Oh. So you don't have to like stop at five. Okay, I was worried about that. Thank if you're you. gonna keep going, then you're, you're okay. fine. Okay, cool. Thanks. Do you want any tea or anything? I'll take some tea if you make some tea. I'm making some tea. I'll have some tea. What kind of tea you want? Can I have... Do we have any gen left? Yeah. I'll have some gen, please. Thank you. It saddens me, of course. I hope they will understand the concept of class welfare is absurd. So we got him a little scared. Jake, uh, I was supposed to have a... We were supposed to uh, have, a, have a chit chat with some of his friends back home at five, but they've canceled, so that means we get to finish this chapter. And I don't have to just stop in the middle. Um, I heard the front often cuts off its prison supporters. Well, it's a good thing I don't plan on prison, visiting prison anytime soon. What's your opinion on the liberation front? Right. Let's talk about something else. What else made him scared of us? Were you aware that the other suspects are planning to stay at the hotel? No, I didn't. I don't appreciate it. Do you know Valerie Arnett? Oh, uh, they're in cahoots for sure. Any system will leave some behind. It also pulls millions at poverty. Right. This made him scared. Right? This one. The third one. Yeah. I believe we're past the first parts of history. How did we get to six? This just made him distrust us, right? secretary um I did do the liberation for cutting off people in prison we 
We did all the Liberation Front questions, right? I think we did. Oh, the multiple passports. Do you notice, any, notice anything unusual about them? Right. Thank you. Multiple passports. Okay. Now let's press him. It's clear you are the leader of the Liberation Front. Drop the act now. All right. Very well, Miss Reed. Let's see if you are as good as you say you are. Deal. Tell me what you want to know. An organization, especially violent one, funds itself. That's a lot of questions. Uh, let's do the funds itself. They don't have a revenue source. They haven't been robbing banks and selling drugs. Someone's funding them. In return, they create circumstances for profit somewhere else. They have to influence the agenda of the front. Oh, there's a cat on the box? Oh yeah, that's Olive. Here, I'll go to a uh, webcam. That's Olive. That's her nice little spot. It's her new spot. Yeah, maybe... Maybe one. Let's go with one. Yeah, he's a little more... Oh, he didn't like that. Joseph doesn't really pay well, you know? All that blowing up and stuff. That's true. How does the Liberation Front remain hidden? Same way my tax refunds, returns do. Lying on the incompetence of the authorities. Too much? Okay. How do they stay united when the members have different ideologies? If the people have something to do with constant activity, they have no time to debate. That's a cult mentality. What is the organization structure of a terrorist organization? Oh, this sounds interesting. You mean if they run out? I don't think they care too much. No one holds enough information to harm the whole thing. How's an organization like the Liberation Front led? I don't know. I wouldn't want to speculate. Maybe they have kings, eh? Okay. How does it recruit members? Well, yes, that would be a necessary point. Of course, what's your point? Those criminals have no loyalty to any ideological cause. And they would rat out front members if given the opportunity. Oh, I said I'm more scared. Scared. Perhaps. But I can only assume that the front is willing to take the risk. Um... How's an organization like the Liberation Front recruit its members? Hmm. How does a terrorist organization plan future attacks? They would have. They would have to split responsibilities and make sure any target they pick furthers their PR agenda. We ask for more information. 
They have their hands in many pies and handle many things at once. I think they have a small core of dedicated people pulling strings and coordinating. How many leaders would be ideal for such an organization? Would leaders have a hierarchical, hierarchical structure between them? What would happen if a number of leaders would leave? What do we think? Three? I'm kind of thinking three, but what does chat think? Yeah, people are saying three. All right, let's go with it. The others would have to run things as they see fit, of course. Wouldn't these leaders wish to prevent such a perversion of their organization then? Maybe, if they don't trust the ones left to do the good work. How many leaders would be ideal? Probably just an administration board who would have to be uneven to break ties, but made small enough for quick decisions. Leaders have any hierarchical structures? Not an official one, I don't think. No need to offend anyone's ego. What did this hint say? turn off the the speaker and that intimidates enough but I don't want to I'm not gonna use violence no one worry I actually can't so it's fine talk about the money we already did but we can try again that he's a little more scared about the money. He didn't really say anything. just yeah okay let's talk about his lawyer I guess how come two people that don't know each other have the same lawyer coming to represent them well he's my lawyer what the hell do you care uh... this guy can trust us a little bit more okay Trust us a little bit more. <sighs> intimidate him. How do we intimidate? saying go for red. Mr. Reed, this interview needs to end. Confess. I can't give you what you want, cop. That's not how this works. You can either go to prison and let the liberation from be stolen from you, or you can give me something I can use. God, 
Is that a success or a failure? I feel like it was pretty iffy. Interrogation successful. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. All right, we got a success. That's cool. Oh, now we got to do the PR report. Today, while pursuing leads pertaining to our ongoing investigation into Liberation Front Truth and Order Special Unit, officers approached several individuals who we believe to hold valuable information and suspect not having ties with the terrorist organization. We need to be connected to Liberation Front leadership. Maybe that one? What do we think? Ties or no? Valuable information? People are saying valuable info? Alright. All these individuals were scheduled to fly to Cambodia, and due to the time constraints, our officers found it necessary to delay the flight in order to consult them, arrest them, consult them. Air authorities, air, air authorities, go. Uh, airport authorities fully cooperated with our requests, and we were able to establish contact. Two of these people agreed to commit questioning, were apprehended and questioned, were taken by force given the urgency of the situation. They agreed to come in for questioning. Our input was very valuable. Apprehended and questioned? Or the other one? Agreed to come in for questioning. Alright, we'll do agree. To the detective wall. Whoa, okay. I feel like I'm probably gonna call it here. Oh, hey, our popularity's doing pretty okay. Um, because we didn't get that whole, like, send your people to do things section. Our PR is doing better. Our press is good. Authorities love us. Let's raid someone then. Who's, who's streaming? Yeah, I'm also confused by this game sometimes. It's still fun, but... Is, um... See. I guess is Steven Steven streaming, right? So let's raid Steven. Guys, thank you so much for coming. Uh as always, uh your support means a lot to us. We will be back on Wednesday. We won't be back tomorrow, but we'll be back on Wednesday. Um, we'll be back Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, we're gonna raid Stephen Yaffe. Everyone, please keep social distancing. Please wear a mask if you do go out. I know it's been a long time, but you just gotta keep up with it. Um, Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Uh, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Even though I just did. Let's go. Let's raid Steven. See you Wednesday. Bye!